Hello, hello, Steph here. And today's training is all about limiting beliefs, how to kick them to the curb so you can make money. Will you meditate? If you're here with me live, grab a tea, a coffee, your journal, and we'll get started in 60 seconds. Replay viewers, just fast forward 60 seconds to start the training. If you haven't done so already, come join us in Work Smarter, Not Harder, my free community group to do just that. We have a free go live for five challenge going right going on right now. Come say hi. The link is in the description. All you have to do is to request to join. All right, let's get started. I'm Steph, founder of Nourish, a successful passive nutrition company, and I'm about to head into my fifth 10-day Vipassana meditation. So this training is perfect for you. If you are a spirit junkie, if you want to make money while you meditate, if you are sick and tired of running your butt off and posting things here and there, hoping that something sticks. This training is also perfect for you if you're a health coach and you are sick and tired of hiding behind your credentials. You are sick and tired of playing within the box of your credentials and you wanna teach on exactly what you're passionate about. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my story of how I took myself from burnout to success with the key pivotal point being mindset shifts and letting go of limiting beliefs. So I'm actually gonna share with you some of my own limiting beliefs and by doing so, this might actually allow you to tap into your own and move past that. So I'm also gonna share in this training some tactical things, some tips and tricks so that you can get started today. You don't have to make drastic changes all of these things happened to me when I was actually working full time and super busy. So if you are super busy and in fact you are burnt out, it's all good. I'm going to give you some really easy ways to start working towards your goals today. We'll have about 20 minutes together, so stay tuned. And if you want the replay, if you can't stay for the live, just comment below and I will get it for you. So once upon a time, I was a multi-passionate health coach high achiever, a perfectionist, a free bird, and a travel junkie. I was also very scattered in what I wanted. I had all sorts of credentials, yoga teacher, dietitian, reflexology, you name it, I had it. But my bank account kept decreasing and I, in my business, I had a full-time job to pay my bills. So I was successful on paper. I, the bank wanted to give me loans, this, that, and the other thing, but I was burnt out. I was working a full-time job and my business, my passion was staying as a side hustle because of these limiting beliefs. So I was a slave to my limiting beliefs. Those thoughts in my head kept me held back. And until I released them, I was broke energetically. I was scattered. I was resentful. All right. So believing my limiting beliefs, believing these thoughts in my head actually led me to exhaustion, burnout, G, low vibration, resentment. So no wonder my business wasn't doing well, because that, my friends, is a complete money repellent. So if you're working full time and your business is struggling, it kind of makes sense. So if you are vibing low, if you are resentful, if you are hating on your job, that makes sense that your business isn't doing well. So your job is not to sell, but your job is to feel good. So these are just a few of the limiting beliefs I have kicked to the curb. Now this is a constant constant work for us. We're always going to have these, we're always going to let them go, we're always going to move to our deeper um, strengths and we're going to move to our next stage of growth by letting these things go. So this was my last stage of growth when I was working full time as a dietitian. I was burnt out. On paper, I had a dream job, but something inside wasn't working. I really wanted to run my business full time. I wanted to work for myself. I wanted to go and meditate and have my business still run. 
So I was definitely living in the seat of desire. I wanted these things, but I was still a slave to these limiting beliefs. And these are just a few of them. So a few of mine were, I went to school for dietetics, so I should work in that industry. If I don't, it's a waste of $40,000. And the key thing that I know why this is a limiting belief is because I see the word should. You've probably heard this, stop shooting on yourself. So if you hear your voice in your head saying, I should be doing this, you know it's a limiting belief. All right, some of the other ones. I have to say yes if it's good money. So let me know in the comments if you relate to any of these. I had this money thought in my head that if it was good money, I had to do it. And guess what? That led me to work in 10 different clinics, medical offices, new, uh, massage clinics, full-time food rack at a health food store. I was working everywhere because of these opportunities that were presented and they were good money. Sure, I'll do that. $100 an hour, that sounds pretty good. So I had to actually break that. And sometimes we have to let go of good opportunities in order to make room for the great. Okay, another major one for me. I was working in the health industry. So if I felt sad or low or my iron was low and I couldn't figure out how to get my iron up, I felt like I couldn't teach on nutrition because I wasn't perfect. My friends, your mess is your message, 110%. I am now grateful for feeling low, for having low energy, for having low iron, because it's helped me, it's allowed me to help the masses. So your mess is your message. Tell your story, be vulnerable, and do not strive for perfection. Imperfection is perfection. All right, one of the other ones. I'll just do the work I hate. We can't love everything we do. Yes, my friends, you can. When you own a business, stay in your zone of genius and outsource the rest or automate the rest. So it just doesn't mean you have to hire employees and spend a bunch of money. We have amazing systems and softwares that you can get to do all of your paperwork and all of the things you hate. Um, outsourcing is also amazing. You can create jobs for people and that's their zone of genius. So that's a limiting belief. I used to think that I'll just struggle through this work that I hate because we can't love everything. That's not true. We can't believe all the thoughts in our heads. I'm living this now is I work in my zone of genius and I automate the rest. Another one, my business is just a side hustle, not a career. I said this for years. People would ask me what I do and I would list off the million things I did and then at the end I'd say, oh, and I have a business. Turn that around. What do you do? Focus on what you want to grow. Don't worry about your job or your credentials. Focus on your business. Talk about it as if it's your full-time job. Another one, I should have a real job with benefits. Oh, Lord, I said this over and over in my head for years and I still catch myself saying that and thinking that I should have a real job with benefits. What a lie this is, um, total limiting belief. And then the last one, many coaches have this, um, what if my prices are too high? Okay, so your self-worth and your worth around your prices is going to be some work. You're going to have to rewrite your money story and raise your prices, and, and it's all a self-worth game. So um, comment below if you have that limiting belief about your prices. The moment I raised my prices, I started working with the actual clients that I wanted to. I started attracting those high achievers, those people who are ready to work instead of the tire biters that wanted everything for free and me to do all the work. So that's what you get when you raise your prices. You actually get more qualified people working with you. And you're, if your ideal client is somebody who's a high achiever, ready to work and ready to invest, there is transformation in the transaction. So yes, 100% um, raising your prices and becoming comfortable and confident in what you are charging is huge. Okay, so what is a limiting belief? So if a belief is a thought that has been given attention, a limiting belief is a thought that has been given attention and is holding you back or limiting you. So those limiting beliefs I just rattled off are just a few of mine. Um, start to think and recognize as you're thinking, as you're shitting on yourself, if you're saying can't, those are limiting beliefs. I can't do A because of B. 
that's a limiting belief. It's not wrong. It's not bad. It's a actual hint and a life hack to get you to your deeper desire. So write it down and move from there. Okay, so what's stopping you? It's those can'ts, those shoulds, those won'ts. What you have not done. So these things in our heads that we're dreaming of, our deepest desires, those are the things you want to get to. And what's stopping you is these thoughts in our head and these limiting beliefs. So as Henry Ford says, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. You have the power and your thoughts are very powerful. So let's get into that feeling place. What would you do if I told you with 100% certainty that you would succeed? Would you start your dream business? Would you commit to your business full time? Would you start a charity, travel the world, raise your kids at home and quit your corporate day job? What would you do? So this is actually the work is getting into that feeling place, dreaming and creating that vision and letting go of the grip of how you're going to get there. So I actually made the shift when I was working full time. So if you guys are so busy and you're thinking, I don't have time for this, don't worry. You can start now. It takes two seconds. It's not going to totally blow your world out of proportion. And this is because it's a mindset shift. It isn't making a million dollars. It's that feeling. It's starting to get on that good vibration, that wheel, so that you can spiral into greatness, just like your limiting beliefs spiral you down. You can start this now by having that appreciation, that thought, and really marking the things that you do not desire as temporary, validating them, and then moving on. So it's all about vibration. So if you have a side hustle that you're wishing to grow, your job is not to sell if you feel low. Your job is actually to raise your vibe and feel good. So something in your life that isn't desirable, you can mark it as temporary and know that it's piece of the puzzle to get you to your deepest desire. So if this is your job, is this if this is a temporary circumstance, if this is an illness, if this is something that you believe is holding you back, the simple act of acknowledging it, appreciating it for what it's teaching you, and the willingness to move on, that's all. This is temporary. This is a temporary position to get me to my deepest desires. Okay, so as much as I love meditation and mindset, I'm still a process girl. So 20% process. Here's your process to ease your mind so that you can let go and step into the mindset role. Here's your process. Four-step four process to sell online and be successful. Clear the clutter. Become known for something. Niche down. Create a financial action plan. How much do you want to make per month? How's it going to come in? And do a launch. So if you follow those four steps, you will have success. Now, what I love about having a process is it gives us enough ease so that we actually can step into the mindset role and work there and get out of our own way. Okay, so if 80% is mindset, what is the work that needs to be done? So if I had listened to my limiting beliefs in the past, I would have quit my job a million times over. I would have quit my business a million times over. I would have never gone full time with my dream job. I would have been burnt out and unhappy working in industries that just didn't fill me up. I wouldn't have helped the masses create their own abundance. Now, this is bigger than you. If you are in the service industry, in the health industry, your people need you. It's beyond you. And if that helps you raise your prices to stay with industry standards, do it. Do whatever you need to do to reach your people because this isn't about you. If you are in the service industry, if you're helping leaders create abundance, then it is actually your job to do this. So it's not about you. Step aside. This is bigger than you. If you're helping people lose weight, drop weight, and love their bodies, Again, it's not about you. It's about them. So this is bigger than you. And if that helps you step into this role and step aside, then by all means, think of it that way. It's not about you. It's about the people you're serving, the masses you're helping. Okay, Steph, so now what? What can we do to kick our limiting beliefs to the curb? Well, don't believe everything you think. Lighten up with this. So 
laugh at it when you hear these shoulds and these can'ts and these, oh, I can't do this because of that. Write them down, acknowledge them, laugh at them, and use those as actual uh, puzzle pieces to get to your deeper desire. So you can actually rewrite your story. You can use positive affirmations and feeling good is the work. So whatever you have to do to feel good, and this will get you on that positive vibration and spiraling upwards, just like your limiting beliefs spiral you downwards. So some amazing audios are great because sometimes we're burnt out, we're scattered, we don't even have time to think. So let somebody else put those words into your ears. Positive affirmation audios, Abraham Hicks, amazing podcasts. I love Mind Your Business podcast, 77 Business Affirmations by James Wedmore. Um, these are these positive affirmations in our that are going through the headphones into our head so that we don't have to work because I know what it's like to be burnt out, scattered, and no extra energy for anything. If you work, use your time that you're commuting to work to populate your brain with these audios. Okay, so your circle of influence. Um, Show me your friends, I'll show you your future. You are the sum of your five closest people around you. So this doesn't mean you need to karate chop your friends and your family out of your life. This just means the area of growth, your business, don't talk about it with people who aren't gonna lift you higher. And we don't want, we're not talking those people who are kind of supporters. We want you around people who are 100% cheerleaders and 100% believing in you that you can do this over and above what you can believe. So. If you don't have those people in your life, again, audios, Tony Robbins, Abraham Hicks, whatever you need to listen to, to increase that vibe. So your five closest friends when you're growing your business, they can be audios, they can be people that you want to be like, mentors, coaches, healers. And above all, know that this is not your fault. And most of our limiting beliefs were created in our childhood, however, it isn't helpful to blame your parents either. So this is all the journey and these limiting beliefs actually allow us to um, reach our greatest potential and it's built up energy that actually explodes us into bigger greatness. So if you can be grateful for this mess that you're in, this mess actually becomes your message. So I am living proof. I know many others that are living proof of this. And guess what, guys? It's ebb and flow. It's like a wave. This is what happens over and over again at different levels and different stages of our business, of our life, of growth. So use it to your advantage. That pullback, that hesitation is actually just pent up energy to explode to bigger greatness. Okay, so your homework is actually just to step into this start dreaming. What is it? Is it to have a seven figure business? Is it to make money while you meditate? Is it to travel the world while making money online? What would you love? And your job is actually just to think of this, to visualize, to get into that feeling place. Sounds pretty simple, right? That's right. I told you you could do this when you were busy, when you were burnt out, when you're working full time. It's that simple thought and do not worry about how you're gonna get there. It's taken care of. If you start to grip it and the how-tos, a simple example of this is if you grip exactly how you're going to make $1,000 in the month, you're actually cutting off the opportunity to make 10,000 that month. So it might sound a little woo-woo. If you love woo-woo, let me know in the comments. I love processes. 20% of the time and woo woo 80% of the time. So let me know guys if this was helpful. My name is Steph and I have two places with more trainings, more supports. Work Smarter Not Harder free community group. Come on over, join us. The link is in the description and my coaching page. Please share this with anyone. Tag your friends that would love this training. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments. I'm gonna come back to this video and answer them all. And I would love to help you step into your greatness. Come on over to our free community groups. I've got all sorts of workbooks and freebies for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.